Okay, we're back again. Uh, video number two of VBA debugging. We're watching variables in the watch window. Okay, and uh, this will work too. Also, we're going to look at the what happened. Uh, I didn't get to cover in the last video what happens in a locals window. So, uh, back to our database here. Okay, back to our database here. Looking at this function right here. Let's see what the locals window does. It shows you every variable that's that's uh, local, local to the procedure here. What variable? What what are what's the value of all these variables, and what can they do? So if I look at uh, back at our form here, let's go ahead and I click the button in string. I can see okay based on this the locals window I can click on this button and what this does it shows me all the values which are present right now so me and already identifies the current form it says okay well you have a value a variable called email address and go ahead and this are all the things that it could do all the properties and methods that it has and is email address is the function that it has is a function that I've made okay so what, what the what the locals motor does it shows you all the and sometimes that's real helpful uh, locals window it shows you what's local in the procedure right now okay. well, this, another helpful feature is the watch window okay uh, if I look at this little procedure I've made um, it's a simple one. It mentions the X is an integer and says the loop until it's 100 and then print the value of X to the immediate window. Now if I open up the immediate window by pressing G or control G or using my little box here. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can delete all this stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm printing out all my ver values to the to the box. Anything up to 99, and it did. Okay, so you can print. This immediate window is really helpful. It's also a good uh, little calculator. Okay, just on the side, so I can do x times. Uh, I mean, this is a simple thing, but r x. Remember that in school, x times 4, you use the asterisk, it's 12. You can use this calculator. Uh, so, it, media window has a lot of functions. Now, we're looking at watching. Sometimes it's helpful, like I said, to watch a variable. Uh, now, what happens if the value is 20? Okay, I don't want to set a breakpoint here and say, well, is the value 20? I think that's long and... Uh, hard to deal with. I'm, I have to wait a long, long time for it to happen. So that's when I set a watch. Okay. Uh, if I right click, I choose add watch, and I can say equals. I want to break when the value is 20. Okay. When break when the value is true. Break when the value is true. And I'm watching in the module here, uh, in the procedure, and in this particular module of my database. And so I'm going ahead and I'm going to run this. And what it should do is stop when the value is true. And the value here says it's true. So x is now equal to 20. And the value is going to, or the value right now is, let's see what the value is. Oh, it's 0. Well, gosh, because I put a bury point there. Okay, so now it's true. Okay, value is true, x is equal to 20, so I'm breaking. I didn't have to do anything but add the watch. It watches the value of whatever's going on. It says it's a Boolean, and I'm using it, um, the context of the module to watch. Okay, so I hope, and a lot of times that's really helpful. Uh, if you have a long running process and you want to watch a, a value now if I can go through and to delete this okay I can click up here I can click on this and change the value around 
x equals 36 or I can go ahead and delete the whole thing because it's going to stop and break at that particular point every time. It's sometimes annoying. So I can hide the little thing, press delete, and it's all gone. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I want to invite you to come on out to the blog at vbahowto.com. Oh, no. vbahowto.com. Again, this is VBA Debug Part 2. We did locals, window, and watch windows. And for the code and for more information, more helpful tips, come on out to vbhowto.com. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.